We're at the corner of Washington LaSalle Street. At one time, we would be standing in front of the old Chicago Stock Exchange building, a great early Adler and Sullivan skyscraper completed in 1894. It has that kind of analogy of rooting to the ground, rising up, and then with its big cornice blossoming against the sky. The reason this building got taken down was the idea that you could make more money with a high-rise skyscraper than you could with a 13-story building. When the preservation fight was lost, it was the same scenario it was with the old Garrick building. People like Richard Nickel and John Vinci, they were similarly involved in the sad task of taking apart the pieces. In this case, it's a little different. The pieces that were saved were bigger. The big entry arch was re-erected behind the Art Institute of Chicago. In the former trading room, what was left of it was carefully taken apart and reassembled at the Art Institute, where you can see it to this day. So in this case, it wasn't just saving pieces of ornament, it was saving an entire room. But it also comes with a real tragedy. This was the site where Richard Nichol, the pioneering advocate of preservation of downtown buildings, the building collapsed on him and he died. He became a martyr to the cause, and just mentioning his name becomes a rallying cry when people try to advocate for an important building.